After combining the iron from the ores, coke from the coals, and limestone, they formed the charge which was now inside the blast furnace. Now, we just have to wait until the various parts of the charge chemically interact with one another. Claire sat on a flipped over container. It'll be a while before we can tap the slag, and then the iron. Hannah commented, sitting on a container like Claire. I guess this is the first part where we figure out where we need to determine the right time and whether everything is good. Claire cracked her neck before massaging it, feeling the work they had done on her body. Hannah nodded before stretching her arms. In addition to the heat, Claire felt the energy inside the furnace from the coke. She remembered that Dragni had explained that the coke would release the necessary elements to interact with the iron, in addition to melting it. The energy in the coke would also react with the metal. Depending on the energy quality inside the coke, there would be varying reactions to the iron. Having the energy wouldn't cause a significant change in the metal, but instead get it ready for the future steps, like when it was turned into steel. When the coke was used again for the steel making process, the metal would be even better at handling energy. Isn't it crazy how what we're doing is what experts are doing to create those fantastical weapons that can give adventurers special abilities? Claire shook her head in disbelief. I mean, sure, we don't have the gems to put into the weapons, but this is the foundational stuff. Hannah was silent, listening to Claire's words. After Claire finished, she said, Though I want to say, we shouldn't get ahead of ourselves. I can feel a little excited, thinking that same way. She sighed. The problem is those special weapons are likely at a higher tier, even without the gems. Blinging out her arm to the furnace, they probably know what to look for even before this step like with the coke and the limestone. Placing her forearms on her thighs and staring at the ground, Claire sighed. Yeah. Those masters probably can sense the energy and how it's affecting the material too. Slowly raising her head, she looked at Hannah. We'll need to ask Dragni about that, regarding whether people doing what we did sense the same thing we did. You mean that uplifting feeling when you were showering the coke with the water? Hannah turned to Claire. She had raised an eyebrow at Claire's thought. Claire nodded. I mean, even now, I feel like there's something going on with the energy. You feel it too, right? Shrugging. But isn't that something everyone is able to feel? I don't think it's anything special. Hannah was disbelieving of what Claire was thinking about the energy. After saying her doubt, Hannah's eyebrows raised an alarm. Do you think it's part of the gift we got from that woman? I mean, it has to be connected, right? Especially if no one else feels the same thing we do, unless they're a master or something at crafting. Claire sounded as though she were trying to convince herself of the reality. Do you think we should ask Darlena? Hannah asked. Though, it could just be what Yev talked about. I mean, we did gain some levels after that job. Taking a deep breath and slowly laying it out, Claire wished that they were further along. If only we were at the same level or higher than Yev. I feel like there'd be more things we could do if we were stronger. I get the sense that we need to get stronger in order to craft better. Hannah said in a soft voice as she looked at the floor. What do you mean? Claire asked, curious as to what her friend was getting at. Continuing to look at the floor, 
I mean, think about it. When we were crushing the coke and the iron ore, we were getting tired doing the repetitive action. She lifted her head to look at Clara. Don't you think that a master would be able to maintain a steady motion and not get tired? <laughs>